hello everyone thank you and welcome back again to another youtube video thank you so much for clicking but if you are new here hi my name is lillian and i want to react to this trending disturbing video of a nigerian youtuber here on youtube i have many reasons why i'm reacting to this video many many reasons and I'm, I'm going to state them in this video. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscription button and turn on the bell notification. Put it on the last one that says all so that anytime I upload a video, YouTube will notify you. Okay, so why am I posting this video is because I have seen videos and personally I have reacted to some videos where some Nigerians make videos claiming that South Africans, Ghanaians, Kenyans are jealous of Nigerian men. The third is the caring nature of Nigerians to women. This actually had caused a lot of problems between them and some men from other countries who feel intimidated by Nigerians. See, if you feel intimidated that a Nigerian is dating your sister or dating your girlfriend or that a Nigerian will snatch your girlfriend, then you need to buckle down. Buckle down and be a man. Take care of your woman. You mustn't give your woman money. There are certain things that you are lacking that that woman saw in a Nigerian. Because Nigerian men takes care of their women so much than other men in Africa. I have reacted to some of these videos by my fellow YouTubers where they feel like, okay, saying that about Nigerian men is going to do what? I don't get it. When the real truth is on ground. So I'm reacting to that video to prove them all wrong. Somewhere at the beginning of this year, there was a video by another Nigerian that says, in Ghana, 99% of the women in Ghana are single mothers and that in Nigeria is a taboo. You must be married. So here I am wondering, I like this. Is this, is this what they are talking about? So I'm reacting to this video because of all that. To prove them wrong. To show you the other side of things that they don't want you to know in a Nigerian marriage. Not all of them. They are incredible Nigerian men. But most of the times we have lots of these types. More than the other ones that this millipede YouTubers. People who cannot even be united back at home in our country. They come on the internet, use other tribes, other nationalities, use other countries as, um, you know, use other countries to make it look like they are united. Well, I am here to expose them. And what is my gain in it? No gain. I just want things to be... T I just want to speak nothing but the truth, okay? So this woman used her hand to post this video here and I want you to take a look at it and tell me Ghanaians, Kenyans, South Africans, are you still jealous of Nigerian men? Like some YouTubers have accused you of. Watch this video and I'll be back. You must more waiting now. Yeah. I see they test. I know they like this guy, this, this, this guy, this guy. What should they worry you now? Ah. Which you, you begin giving this, this, this? I don't used to give him. You don't used to them. Why you, why you start today? Hey. Even we are, we are, we are there, you did, you did, you did, I, I will, I will ah. slap you. What's wrong with you? Right. I don't like this thing, though. I don't, I don't, see, don't, 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 don't do that joke with me, though. I don't like it. Wait till be this one, now. Nah. If like this, they, 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 they do this one, you go, you go like them. Say what you wanted to slap me. I will slap you. They say whatever you, you want to slap me. Is it, is it, is it, is it normal on your face? I'm not giving you. <laughs> Please, I'm not giving you. I didn't talk. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't you talk. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you slap me because of the man. I'm, and I will do it again. What's wrong Something with you? Something that was just recording video is a prank. A married man romantically kissing his wife by brutalizing her and proving that he loves her so much I know right they are working on producing the pre-production part of this video to make everybody believe that um, they were they were pranking us so I just want to give my two cents to it 
I want to call on all the activists in Nigeria to rescue this woman now. Sandra, let me give you guys a background of who Sandra is, the lady that is assorted in the video, the housewife. Sandra was a widow, a young widow at that, and uh, by the time her husband passed on, he left her with two kids, and you know it's not easy to be a single mother in Nigeria. By the time this man came, married her, it was a big celebration because your life depends on a man. As a Nigerian woman, there is nothing to you. You have to be, there's no, nobody, if, if care is not taken very soon in Nigeria, if we don't change attitude, women will no longer be censored during censor because you are a woman. I mean, like, what can you bring to the table? So when Sandra met and fell in love with this man, people were happy for her. And now she finally married him and they had a baby and she must die there if death comes through her husband brutalizing her. Even if she's going to die in the hands of this man that you physically see in the video assaulting her, Nigerians are okay with it. She being your husband kill you is a good thing because staying alone, especially when you have kids, <laughs> is more traumatic than what this woman is going through so but i know there are a lot of nigerians that that have sense nigerians with no sentiments nigerians that knows what i'm talking about and i am hoping that they reach out to rescue this woman because you can see this is this is not a joke obviously this man was not aware that he was being recorded and if she was a terrible wife who is not dying to keep a husband whose life is not defined by the fact that she has a husband she could actually have kept this clips and use it against him later but sandra is a nigerian woman and she must keep her husband at all costs even if he's against her life so now look at the video very well and tell me a nigerian man still the best in the world Mm-hmm. Damn. I know they're gonna come for me at the comment section and even they see me physically, they go beat me. Though not in Ghana, because in Ghana here, yeah, damn, how are you gonna do it? You will go to prison. Here, yeah, women are valued and respected. I am well protected in Ghana. My only concern is if they see me in Nigeria, will they beat me? Then that is when I will fight back or let them beat me. After all, it's not the first time that Nigerian men have beaten me. It's not even my husband. So just someone on the streets. <clears throat> For this Sandra's issue, I'm not mad at the man that much. I feel like she has a choice to make to stay alive, but she will not. My anger is at the comment section of that video where Nigerians are smiling, are happy, saying, forgive him. Eh, don't worry. That is how they are. Eh, everybody is okay with it. They have helped her to tell her to say it's a prank. <laughs> so I just, the reason is, just so that you people can see and tell me, are you still jealous of Nigerian men like they have accused you? I mean, now, Ghanaians, South Africans, Kenyans that have lost their girlfriends to Nigerian men. Do you now have an idea of what is going on with their lives? I mean, the ones that ended up marrying them. Do you, do you have an idea of what they are enjoying that you couldn't give them? So I hope the, the healings come. I hope that you let it go. Like she got what she deserved. She got her perfect match. Because that one that a Nigerian man stole from you, that is what she's going through on a daily basis. Yeah, damn, you can call it a prayer. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm hoping that she gets that on a daily basis. I mean, why will you be running after money when you can actually hustle for your own money? Because I guess that's the only way uh, she have because she thought maybe the money is there and then she left you now on a more serious note if you have a sister that is married to a nigerian man i think you should visit them from time to time <laughs> visit your sisters okay pay your cousins a visit pay your sisters a visit go and check what is happening because look at this now and these women are being brainwashed never to speak up because i mean it's your husband so it's your husband so you pay them a visit now if you are a nigerian man and you are angry with this video 
go to this man's house and beat him up film a video okay film a video of you guys arresting this man taking him to court then i will be happy with you guys and i'll come back here and react to that video otherwise damn bro you can't judge me because man look at how he beats this woman up just look at how he slapped her face and the painful part for me the most part for me the most irritating part for me in the video is the fact that a small baby is sitting right there fine they want us to believe that is a prank right but now does baby emmanuel knows that is a prank this boy is going to grow up like that where he sees his mother being physically abused by his father and then he, he starts to grow up feeling aggressive and angry when he goes out there he thinks it's okay to beat people up on the streets hmm? he thinks it's all right to start beating people up on the streets because his papa did it to his mama and he watched him do it I see this uh, Nigerian couple on Facebook. What are they called? Them Asha and Udugu. Go and tell them I said so. Mm. Go protect me at the end of the day. There was a video of them I saw where they brought their son to keep right there in front of them. And they were, pl they were playing prank, punching each other in front of the boy. Oh my goodness. And then later, you people come and sit down. Uh, single mother, single mother. A Nigerian man, a Nigerian man. Oh, oh, oh. You see, this is what we are talking about the way you raise your child. So, how did you raise your Nigerian boys to be violent? This is how they do it. So, for those of you that your sisters are married to Nigerian men, visit them from time to time, check on them because these women will never talk. Because I have realized that women, it's just a few women that can leave a man that provides for them because you know easy you see me like this at night it's not easy for me as a single mother with children it's not easy for me as a single mother so i know what is out there i mean it's, it's tough for me so a lot of women because of the fear of providing for themselves and their kids they would rather stay in an abusive marriage this is not just about nigerian women a lot of women including black and white women in africa countries with less opportunities the women attend to sit down in an abusive marriage in an abusive marriage and just take it because men when you are hungry at night no food no cloth on your back no theater and will you not just just stay there in a man's house and manage like that so that is the mentality of many women so if your sister is married to a nigerian man visit them from time to time and if you have financial support to give to her give it to her and assure her that if things are not working you are going to be there for her for me my ex-husband a nigerian man told me that one day he was going to kill me and he would do it and then i told people they were laughing they say he's joking he can't do it but he kept on telling me that one day he would kill me. So I knew it was time for me to take my physically challenged child and go back to my family. And uh, when I got to my family, the good thing is that because I know my kind of family, they are going to think I lied. I look for trouble because they know me to be the way you know me now. I'm very outspoken and straight to the point. I cannot lie. So they would think maybe I've looked for trouble. But... I told him to take me to my family and he did. He was happy to return me and my physically challenged child back to my family. And I, my aunties asked him a few questions and he spoke, he spoke excellently about me. He never denied saying he was going to kill me. He still confirmed it. But someone like my father, who has nothing to lose if I'm no longer alive, told me to go back there and continue that marriage and continue in that marriage but i knew i needed to be alive especially for my daughter who is physic who is physically who is living with disabilities i knew i needed to be alive so i i didn't follow him back to port Harcourt, so he left and up to date i'm alive i know that is the grace of god that have kept me so imagine i stayed back i would have been constantly under that abuse just like sandra sandra where well don't know 
Uh, I hope you are preparing your post, I mean, pre production video. The one you are going to use now, you wear the same clothes, wear Emmanuel the same clothes, wear Bright, abuse what's his name, your abuser the same clothes, and come back again to say, to behave like you guys are pranking us. <laughs> Madam, it's okay. Oh. For those of you in abusive marriages, I know it's not easy to be a single mother or to be single, but it's worth it if you come out of that place and be free from your free from abuse be free from physical abuse do you understand some of some of you are into emotional and physical abuse you are, your marriage is filled up with emotional and physical mental abuse but you can't take a walk because you're afraid don't worry i'm not inviting you to join my club of single modernism but it is worth it if you are alive and trust me, God will always provide. It's not easy to be a single mother, but God will provide for you because he gave you the responsibility. Sandra, <laughs> it's okay. Do the bashing at the comment section. I'll see you guys in another video. But do not forget to visit your sister if she's married to a Nigerian man, okay? Bye. Damn.